All right, Jack here again, testing out the sprinkler pump by Wayne, the PLS 100. Read different things, says it could be 50 PSI boost, could be up to 80 PSI boost. So just wanted to test that out. From what it was the other day, it was pretty darn good. I was able to do the whole house with the RO. Usually, even with a transfer pump, I wasn't able to get hardly the flow I needed to properly clean. So I always use my DI. Okay, so what do I got? The carbon block, of course, comes in. I always go through the carbon block, all the pre-filters first before I boost. It's a no-brainer. No reason to put 100 plus something PSI through these damn things. You don't need to force water through that. Let it happen. When you use a, a pre-filter of that size, you get a lot of flow, so you're not going to strangulate your RO trying to force water through. You're using a 10 inch, eh, you might have to boost, but that cost me a dollar. Granted, the filter 40 50, but the housing and everything, a dollar at a yard sale. So there you go. Anyway, it comes in. I put the quick releases on there just in case I don't want to use this at all or I have to dismount it and put it up more towards the house. But anyway, incoming pressure is just about 82 84, which is awesome for this area. So if I go ahead and let this thing run out, I'm just going to run some, there we go. All right, there we go. Working is about 60-ish. One reason I don't like RO is because unless it's boosted, you get pretty crappy flow. For me, that's not flow. I like my flow. So what do I do is I got to crank this puppy on and let's see if it cranks up. Sometimes you got to do it a couple times likes its voltage there it goes now it's at a hundred now how much does it actually boost well just watch the pressure gauge now it was 80 right now it's boosted with nowhere to go it's almost boosting 80 psi so there you go a lot better flow coming from that let's test out the jack brush lot better flow coming up from jack brush using the bissel. Now oh, I also got a switch over here that I'll go ahead and go this way. As you see it's coming from my DI. So now the RO through the DI. This way straight RO. And of course, I got another splitter here in case I want to use a light hose or I use the 300 feet. Now, keep in mind, the brush is running off at 300 feet, 3 8 hose. Jack brush is running off of 150 feet of 3 8 vinyl tube. So, I'm really liking that pressure. In fact, I think I'll crank it up to about 110 or so and the last time I checked the TVS is I'm down to about four three to four which is so good on this because I've never got 97 98 re rejection out of a 96 rejection membrane which this is an axiom HF5 and of course if I want to bypass the whole system I just transfer my inlet to here boom I'm using DI if I got really squirrely water the dual DI, which is in there, comes into play where you have the Anion tank, Cashin tank separate, and then if I have to, then I run it into here. But for the most part, if I'm using this pump, now I'm going to be more dedicated to use just my RO and save my DI for those special times. Or if I have a small job, I just take the, the dual DI. Now, dual DI. Is really only put out about anywhere from one to five TDS. Dual DI is more of a pre DI before your mix bed. That's why they use this before they use mix bed. But why do I use that? Because if I can clean between one to ten, one to five, I'll use this because those two tanks with the old resin I had in there before lasted me well over a year. You will make pure water. Closer to pennies than you will use a mixed bed. 
Plus, it helps if I'm running through there and I'm only putting three or four TDS into here. This three quarter cube will last forever. Now, if you mind my junk in the back there, you'll see right there. That's a quarter and a half cube. That sucker will last forever. Of course, it costs a fortune to fill, but once you fill it, you're looking at probably two, two and a half years worth of resin use. And you're only putting one or two TDS in. Anyway, so that is what the booster pump will do. So if you're looking for a booster pump, the Wayne PLS is perfectly capable of handling the job. And just boosted. Let the pressure equalize. Unboosted. So you're getting about half the spray. It went from almost 110 to 1, well, more like 110 down to 60. See, that's a 40 to 50 PSI boost. Not overall system boost is up to 80. But working boost, it's a 40 PSI difference from working boost to actual system pressure. Because there's two different pressures. You got what it is doing while it's working, running, permeating, wasting. Then you got another where you got it boosted doing all three. So there you go. That's just a little setup right now. There you go. Thought I'd share. And yeah, sometimes you do get a little vapor lock with this thing where you click it. It's also a little have to do with voltage because I'm running over 100 feet on this pump. But when that does happen, you just got to turn your water off, release the pressure, then it'll pop the crank right up. There you go. That's it. So if you're looking for a pump, try the Wayne. I like cheap too, but those transfer pumps you're seeing on some of these systems are total crap. They are crap. Don't buy them. It's cast iron, especially if you go after your pre-filters. You are just going to flush rust into your RO membrane. Trust me, I had my 1800 fail because of a rust bloom we had. Bam, it ruined it. Even though it went through a separate filter after that, I added one. Killed it. So don't do it. Don't get a transfer pump. I don't care how cheap they are. Go with one of these. I mean, I got this used on uh, Amazon for I think 100, 110 bucks. And it works like a charm compared to my transfer pump. Yeah. With a transfer pump, if I was doing it with 80, I might get 90 something. Maybe. And that supposedly boosted 40 PSI. Well, yeah, overall pressure boost, but working pressure only boosted 20 from 60 to maybe 80. Like I said, I don't like to trickle from an 80. I want 100, 120. So I got full jets. If there's goop on the glass, I want to be able to blow that off. Hence, the gardener jets. When I turn the fan on, I want these puppies to be full 120s. You know what I'm saying? Well, that is all I'm done playing. Got to get ready for tomorrow. Got three banks to do. That is all.